what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just we have some more new details about the nun 2 so we know that the nun 2 will be directed by michael chaves we know that the nun 2 is a part of the warner brothers slate of films that are presented at CinemaCon, and we know that bonnie aarons will be returning to reprise her role as valak in the film and it seems like we now know some filming expectation dates as far as like when they're going to shoot we now have an official not official but a brief plot synopsis first few plot details and some new characters and indication that might tease the fact that Tysa Farmiga could be reappearing or returning for this project. So in the casting call, it mo points out that the filming dates are going to be from September, December of this year. And then it says 1956 France, a priest is murdered and evil is spreading the sequel to the worldwide smash hit. The nun follows sister Irene as she once again comes face to face with the demonic force Valak, the demon nun. Now, sister Irene, of course, was the nun, the young nun played by Tysa Farmiga in the original film where she was trying to navigate around that setting and, you know, coming avoid coming in contact with the nun and valak and trying to understand what the mystery was and figure out what was going on there uh so knowing that this movie is taking place i guess a couple years after that movie lets us know that at least this is a sequel it's not going to be a prequel set prior to that movie and they did go into some descriptions here about some two new characters now these might just be placeholder names but it says one of the new characters will be a character named sophie who is a character that is shy sweet 10 year old student at saint mary's school in france sophie's sister marcella a more true mother figure is a teacher at the school sophie is often tormented in tears by a group of mean girls she forms a friendship with Frenchie who works on the school's school grounds he is seemingly Sophie's only ally apart from her sister and then we have a character named Antoinette who is a character that is a 14 year old leader of a clique of of beginning mean girls at St. Mary's School in France together with her friend she torments the young Sophie and plays pranks on others at school so again those might be placeholder names how these two will become intertwined in the narrative that will be discovered as things progress my guess is that of course somehow sister irene will be factored into the fact that this young girl i, I assume is being bullied and you know that would just be like a soft spot for her to try to get them associated and i guess that she will end up getting targeted by the nun in some fashion there was some longer details here about her saying that with sophie we are look they are looking for a child uh with a deep emotional intelligence and the ability to convey strong emotions and she did say she can just about cope with the bullies at school until she also becomes haunted by mysterious demons so yeah valak i guess is going to have some type of hold over the girl or develop an interest in the girl and sophie is going to be one of the focus points of the film because it does say she's a lead role while antoinette will only be a supporting role so i think this bully antoinette will either not be part of the full narrative like in the sense of not being that important or the character of course will die at some point in the movie given that it's a teenager uh higher chances of her dying over this over this 10 to 12 year old individual since it's supposed to be an older kid bullying a younger kid so i can't wait to see how they intertwine sister irene with this narrative and because I, I do think she was a compelling character in that original nun movie i just wasn't all that sold on the narrative due to again how disjointed it was it was bouncing all over the place the over reliance on the jump scares but sister irene she was a compelling character i do start to now think and wonder if they really are going to go down that route of trying to somehow connect her to ed and lorraine warren in the sense that is there a true reason why valak was haunting Lorraine like that more so than what we already found out about in the conjuring 2 does it have something to do with sister Irene or sister Irene and Lorraine actually connected are they going to make the two in real life sisters the Farmiga sisters canically sisters in this fictional world I mean that's not out of the realm of possibility and it's definitely something that you can easily be sold on given that they are real life sisters they look alike and it'll just be another unique way to connect this prequel series into the ongoing current conjuring films so maybe even if this film is a success because i know i've talked about the idea of the nun 2 being a warren based narrative where she's come back and she's after ed and lorraine specifically lorraine after the events of the conjuring 2 
and you can explore something like that maybe they save that for a conjuring three it just seems like if sister irene is being back involved in the mix that i think they're going to be building us towards that reveal that sister irene is somehow connected to lorraine because we know that lorraine warren is her last name is warren but she presumably of course got that from ed we don't we i don't think we've ever heard what lorraine's maiden name is because I'm, I'm just thinking that's something i think they're going to explore they're going to explore the character of lorraine more they're going to go into who she was prior to meeting ed they're going to go into more connections about her family and then that's going to trace us all the way back to sister irene and i think that's going to give more weight underneath why valak was actually associating herself with Lorraine as much as she was in that second Conjuring movie even though we already had a narrative told to us you can just build upon that even further by also saying that Lorraine is a relative or a descendant somebody who has a familial tie to a nun that Valak stalked in the 1950s so I mean if they do that they do that but I mean it's not necessarily something that they have to do I just think they're going to do it I think that's what it'll build to if not revealed here if this ends up becoming like a series of movies like the Annabelle series and you know this whole interlining intertwining universe that we have here with this horror IP that's so big one of the biggest horror IPs in the last decade definitely not that all the movies are good but it's very successful I just think they're gonna start to rely heavily on trying to connect things to each other and just making all these movies inter interconnect in some fashion this is about the biggest thing that the horror community has going on that is i would say the closest to a marvel cinematic universe the conjuring universe it really is how su how successful this universe has been and how it surpassed insidious this is the this is the closest thing we have to marvel right now in horror in what i can say off of facts out there but those are some official plot these that came out today from that cast call let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below what do you think about those two new character names and how do you think everything's going to come together are you excited about it uh if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video